to take time today just to have a look at some gloves. Um, this is something I haven't planned to do today, but it seems I'm going to use them anyway. Um, I thought it was probably a good opportunity. Cuckoo here is a, a 20 year old thoroughbred. She had her shoes off when she was 15. Um, when we took her shoes off, she was probably sore, uh, really quite sore in the field for about um, four or five weeks after the shoes come off, which really did indicate the amount of damage that happened to her feet while she'd been in the shoes. And now she is fully transitioned and, and she goes out quite well over some fairly long rides and over some rough ground without anything generally happening uh, untoward with her feet, either while we're out riding or the day after. But over the last two or three days, we've been out and had some quite a lot of fun together. We've ridden quite a long way and, and, and um, been over quite a few stones. I'd like to go out again today and have a bit more fun. Um, so just so that she doesn't end up with a sore foot or, or, or get any sort of problems anywhere, what I'm going to do is just um, put some boots on her and just keep the feet ticking over nicely. The glove I'm using today, as you can see, is pretty muddy and I thought about getting a, a cleaner or a new one or washing this one before I put it on, but I thought I would show you this one. It just gives you an idea of some of the use that we get up to in these gloves and it, and it shows that by no means they're just used on the road, they're used on muddy tracks, on the road, wherever we can possibly go. And you can see here that she's worn a nice little breakover point. Uh, because she has a very good straight action, what I tend not to do is have a left and right here. I tend to just alternate them or just put them on whatever foot I pick them up because there's no need to, to get a particular break over. Okay. The way we start doing this is then undo the, the pasta strap to start with and fold the gaiter out of the way, which makes the boot then ready to put on. As you can see here, Cuckoo has a fairly well defined foot. She has one continual angle here from the hairline down. The heels are not too high and the hairline here is a really good angle and it's the same angle on both sides. So this will actually indicate to me that she has a very good foot. When we start to put this boot on is just lift the foot up, slide the toe in, twist it onto the heel, make sure that it's fitted up to the heel. And there we have the boot fitted from underneath. We allow the foot to come down. Make sure the gator is pulled out from the back. Tighten the pasta strap as tight as we can. And there it's fitted quite well. As you can see, there's no gaps around here. The boot's fitted fairly tightly to the sides. It's fitted tightly to the bottom here. Although there is a little bit of a play here, um, but I find with these particular boots on this horse that they don't twist. And I can't quite get the size below on. 